Hello, I am sharing with you a vlog today. I don't usually start this late. It is a quarter to 10. Usually it's like six o'clock in the morning when I start my vlogs. But today has some things going on, so I wanted to share it with you. And I just thought it would be fun because I know you guys enjoy watching our day in the life and what's happening in our little house. So Nevaeh is down for a morning nap, hopefully. The reason I say hopefully is um, we are ripping out our stairs to our basement because our bug guys, so the termite people, if you've watched previous vlogs, you know we've had some termite issues for way too long. Um, and this is the third year our termite bug people are coming back to spray. Thank goodness for a five year warranty, right? But our little community has termites and we didn't know that when we bought the house. The inspector completely missed it or was blind so I don't know what happened but anyways um hopefully Nevaeh sleeps because it's gonna be a lot of banging going on and our house is like a thousand square foot so pretty little hopefully she gets at least like a 20 minute nap before the work begins and then our little flower shop in town opened so I'm going to go there and get some flowers today it is a little cloudy only supposed to be in the 60s but hey I'll take the decent weather so here's our stairs. They got termite damage, so they gotta come out. But we're gonna just walk up these. I'm gonna show you at the top here. You can see where they're supposed to be and where they're at. It's supposed to be up right next to that metal thing. Well, they never secured the stairs, or possibly with the termite damage, it's broken the fasteners. But I believe they never secured the stairs. They just were freestanding up against that. So fun times in an old house. <laughs> um, I'm also gonna show you the rest of the wall if you missed it in one of my other vlogs. I'll put that one in the description box. But anyway, so we ripped up this whole wall because there's termite damage. Um, I'll just show you what the termite looks like. It has like little tunneling. You can see that in the wood and they leave residue all over. <laughs> so um, yeah, we're gonna rip this all up eventually here. It's been like this for about a month now because the bug guys couldn't come till tomorrow. And then we'll probably rip this up to like right there and re-sheet rock. And then that'll give us an excuse to rewire how our washing machine is piped. So the pipes go all the way up over the door and then down. So we're gonna try to cut through the cement so it actually drains properly and go down through there. Um, yeah, so this is our lovely back porch too, by the way. <laughs> okay, so as you saw, lots of issues in this 1960s house. Who knew that there'd be so much work to be done in a house like this? But I guess when you're a property owner, things happen. And I'm so thankful my husband's willing to work on stuff like that. We do have a older gentleman coming over to help who's built steps before. So he is going to do um, that with him. Our state does not have a lockdown or a stay home rule during this time right now. And I thought it's just this one guy and he's seen him a couple, boys have seen him a couple times throughout the past month or two. So um, he's gonna come help for a little while. I think I have to prepare lunch, I'm not sure. I think I'm just gonna do sloppy joes. I think I'm just gonna do that. I'll have to run to the store and get buns. It is very nerve wracking to walk up and down those steps now and knowing my husband's business has been downstairs for the last two and a half, three years. Thank the Lord he has not fallen through those steps yet, right? So anyways, um, I probably need to do a little school work here while Nevaeh is napping for a bit and then uh, get some of the lunch going. We're gonna go for a little stroll to the store and then get some um, flowers, I think, on our way back. So we live in a very small town, about 800 people, and stores are still open. I'm just super cautious. I bring my hand sanitizer with me and the flower shop is literally, like everything is a block away for me. I love that about small towns. And um, yeah, we just need to get out of the house because there's a lot of banging going on. She did nap for an hour and 20 minutes, so that is a blessing, even with them making a lot of noise. So she must have been super tired. But we're just gonna head out for a little bit and be back for planting some flowers, getting lunch done, and all that good stuff. Nevaeh, where are we going? Where are we gonna go? <laughs> All 
right, so I'm back home. I didn't film much in that greenhouse because it was just the owner and myself and she didn't have a lot, but I'm excited for what I got. I got some flowers. I love sweet potato vines. Um, some snapdragons, of course. Then I did get some um, tomatoes and a larger tomato and then a colorful mix of peppers because um, my pepper plants, tomato plants, seed starter did not come up. Moss roses, oop. Uh, let's see, what are these? Oh, some other snapdragons. I did send out like some jewel tones, some, what are these, violas, violas, and one more thing, what was this? A vintage mix of stock is what it's called. I'm not sure, but I thought that would be really cute, short. So I might do a little planting today with what I've got here. We'll see. Little Missy, are you having fun outside and your sock is coming off? I got my groceries to unload, so I made sure to take a little, little hand sanitizer with me and use that after both stops. Um, I really didn't get in contact with anybody except after checking out, so. Should we go in? Yeah. So, got my hands washed. Now I'm working on some lunch. I'm just making this lobby dough recipe I found online. I think it's theallrecipes.com. <laughs> There's some kids in the backyard playing with our dog. They're actually through the fence. They like to do that. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna make this up for the guys, Blaze and the guy who's helping. Um, and then I have some carrots cut, and we're just gonna have some fruit, and oh yeah, I was gonna warm up some sweet corn. So some garden sweet corn from last year that I froze. Um, and then we're gonna probably hang out outside today since it's kinda loud in here. Uh, the project has changed drastically. No steps anymore, so it's just a drop off I'll have to show you, but um, yeah, you're talking to the kids out there. I cut some jalapeno peppers in there and added some sriracha, so I made it a little bit spicier. And then our corn from our garden. And then on the table, I've got some apples, grapes, <coughs> pickles, carrots, the works. So we're gonna get eating. Those are our old steps. How did you get up the steps? Up the, you oh, jumped? We took a ladder down first. Oh, that's right. I was like, maybe you had good verticals, you know? Psh. Made my second French roast pot of coffee. I will probably share some because I don't need a whole pot of coffee. But French roast is my favorite. We grind our own beans. And I honestly just get my beans off of Amazon. They are surprisingly good. I'll link it in the description box below for you. And then I let it um, put like to that word, <laughs> the brand of the pot there. I also how many grounds I put in, then I pour in some hot water, and then I let it sit for like four minutes, and then I stir it and press it down. So it's delicious, I love it. And then I'll probably put some half and half in there. Ah, the never ending joys of dishes. Always some cleanup to do, but like I've said in my previous vlogs, I do find it rather relaxing to do some dishes and tidy up the kitchen after a meal so that it's set and ready for the next prepping of a meal. Push-ups. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs>
<laughs> Do you have a spoon on the floor? Do you have a spoon on the floor, honey? <laughs> Are you being silly? Yeah. I do really love a spring rain. So does our dog, Maggie. Not. You like Maggie, don't you? Yeah. So this is the current status of our steps. They took these out and these are ones they put in. I'm not supposed to step on them. So I'm just gonna lean. And there's the current status of our other steps. They are non-existent right now. So yeah, that is what it looks like right now. They're going to the lumber yard to see what they can find. Yeah, teeny little crawl space there. And then there was a crawl space under here that they had to get under. And that's where the bug guys will treat when they come tomorrow. So Navea is down for her nap. She did fall asleep. The guys are not tamering or screwing anything in, so it's quiet at the moment. I have her little monitor strapped to my pocket, so I'll hear her if anything happens. I'm just in the backyard enjoying the outdoors right now. We'll probably go for a walk when she wakes up, but I want to show you our trees. I love when they just when they blossom. These are all fast growing willow trees. We have a down fence piece there. Um, we do plan, I did show you in my last vlog that we do plan to take some of them down. The previous owners or the ones before them planted way too many. They're way too close together. But I just, I can smell them. They're so fragrant. Now, yeah, isn't this just, uh, I love it, I love it, love it. Yeah, they smell so good. I didn't know that willow trees like that smelled so pretty. <coughs> and then even from my last vlog, this has come in so fantastically. I just think it looks wonderful. I've been working on it quite a bit here and transplanting some things. Um, like these are just popping up. Those are my hydrangeas, I want to say. Or not hydrangeas, hostas. But I did transplant some. These are chives out of a pot, and chives end up taking over. But I want some filler for over here. So I'm okay having a couple spots of chives planted there. And then some wild mint. I didn't plant any of this, but it smells. Hmm. Smells so good. I, I could probably make some mint tea from those leaves too. All right, update on our garden status. What I did till was over about three feet from our shed over there. And I already planted three rows of sweet corn there to have some early variety. And then I planted just along this edge all the way down. I planted some sunflowers and some uh, zinnias because last year my zinnias were so vibrant and it was just beautiful. So, and people seeing it from the road, I thought would be really wonderful and lovely. So that is the status of what we ended up tilling. So if you followed me on Instagram, you saw that a friend ended up tilling this garden for us. So that was super nice to get this done already. So I got this desk off of Facebook Marketplace. Um, it's just small enough that I want to sit under that window or under this window, I'm not sure. Just with teaching from home right now and doing YouTube and sitting on the couch is hurting my back immensely. So it's a little more modern than I was hoping for, but honestly it kind of matches our side table there. Kind of. It's It was only... It was only $20 on Facebook Marketplace, so my husband picked that up yesterday for me, actually. So, I like this decor. I like the white of this. This was an orange plant stand I got at a garage sale for three bucks three years ago, so it served its purpose. And I might put it in the kitchen. I don't know. I don't know yet. Let me know if you think I should put it in the kitchen. Um, I would put it right there. Maybe. I don't know. It looks like it'd be too big. I don't know. Maybe like a coffee station or something. Not sure. I don't want too much furniture in the kitchen. Um, otherwise, I would put that 
downstairs for now just is somewhere to put it but i'll either put the desk right there or right there and move that chair to there or move that chair into here <coughs> excuse me and move the tv centered but that love seat is way too big so i've got a few dilemmas that i need to figure out and i'm not sure exactly what i want to do so I'm all ears if you have any suggestions. So yeah, you pretty much just saw our whole house right now with me swooping around here. So not sure what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna try to get this desk configured and arranged. Design. I put the desk there. I'll have to find a chair, but honestly, it's so light I could move it to that chair. And then I used a crate I had under my white thing and put a blanket in it and a pillow. And there's still stuff around in the corner I need to clean out, but I think that'll work pretty well to have the desk there. <coughs> and it was a pretty good $20 find that Blaze picked up for me on Facebook Marketplace or from Facebook Marketplace. So there it is. We decided to come out. We tried to walk earlier and we got back home just in the nick of time as it started to rain and got super cold and windy. So we're gonna spend a little time outside before supper. Blaze is grill gonna grill the steaks. It is a tad chilly. I might want a coat on her. She's pretty warm blooded, but I might plant one pot or so um, to see how that goes. And this tree behind me, Ah, it just smells so good. I don't know. I already told you that with my other trees, but I love the smell of blossoms and blooming trees. So I'm going to see what I can plant here for a little bit and maybe I will just play on the cement. good for now they'll really fill in I just put some snapdragons the um, antique looking ones whatever they're called again and some moss roses kind of a similar setup for those but they'll fill in and they'll look gorgeous I'll move them somewhere else but for now they're just conveniently there for watering so here are our steaks <laughs> yeah Blaze is laughing because they are bigger than he thought I told him that one would serve two people but there's the marinade it smells really good so they've been marinating for at least 12 hours. No, not 12 hours. I didn't get up at six, like eight. So he's gonna grill on the charcoal grill, which adds such good flavor. Then we'll eat. Well, I'm going to call it an evening. My husband and I think we're gonna play a game. 
um, and maybe watch a show together and just relax and enjoy the evening together. So I hope you enjoyed this day with us as we did a few things, had some house projects, and I'll keep you updated on what the stairs and other projects end up looking like. So anyways, give it a thumbs up, hit that notification bell if you want to know every time I put up a new video because my schedule is kind of off. I'm not Monday, Friday right now. It's just kind of when they occur. So anyways, I hope you are staying safe well and I hope you have a blessed and wonderful day. Bye guys.